if, if I made 400 grand a year, I would be embarrassed with myself as a husband, a father, basically as a human being. 400 grand. How do you make sense of $35,000 a month? You guys haven't done the math. You have not done the math because you cannot live on 400 grand a year. Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. My name is Alex. That's Kirby. Kirby, what do you think about this? 400 grand is not enough. I, I think I'm failing at life right now <laughs> after watching that. Right. Uh, you, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's funny that it's, it's funny. It's funny. And the thing is, if people live in this social media world and only take information from social media and don't look it up, then you, people can pass off information just like Grant did and everybody's just, oh my God, I'm slacking. And I just looked it up you know, why this video was going on. I looked it up. So in 2022, to be in the top 1% income earners in the United States is $401,000 a year. So if you can't, if if you can't live on 1% money or $400,000 a year, and I'm not, let's dismiss Grant Cardone because Grant Cardone, his lifestyle, his expenses, he can't live on $400,000 a year. If he didn't have all these other projects and everything else he got going on, you know, the the watches, the airplanes and stuff like that, yes, he could live on $400,000 a year. Anybody on God's green earth can live on $400,000 a year. And the crazy part is, and I'm not going, I'm not saying it to brag, is I'm in the 1%. But I don't even use 20% of that money to live on. I just don't. I mean, everything that I want to do, I can do, but I don't need to do it. That's the thing that, and with the social media landscape and how everything is flash, 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 flash. I mean, no matter what YouTuber you go to, if they're talking about finance, they're talking about Anything they flash in, you know, the big cars, the foreign cars, the big houses, the jewelry and everything like that. And kids today think that that is the mentality you got to have. The only way that you can really have money if you doing those things, the things that they're not doing is question the information received as a lot of these people. Yeah, they might go pay thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for a pair of Jordans or whatever the price is for, excuse me, the off whites or whatever that stuff is. But most of them still living in their mom's mom's basement or they rent their apartment. The and then they go on or I mean it's it's actually people out here in the YouTube space who never bought a house and talk about tell people how to buy rental properties. And they're living they're literally living in their apartment <laughs> trying to tell people how to buy rental properties. But that is what the world's come to. The instant gratification world of Flash, flash, flash to make everybody think you're doing something, even though you're really not doing it. Just think you're doing something. Then that is what gravitates to the eyes. But again, I always say question information received. Like I'm, when you see on social media, people 20, 21, 22 years old trying to tell a common everyday man. Now, it is some niche products and things out there if you want to get into drop shipping if you want to get into ad advertising and stuff like that where some young people that you know they, they you know they multiplied and grew their business very fast at a young age but talking to the common everyday person who's waking up at five six o'clock in the morning busting their ass to do eight hours a day trying to insult them saying oh if you're not making four hundred thousand dollars a year you're not doing nothing how can you live as a man is incredibly crazy but I'm a digress from there. Let me see your thoughts on it. No, yeah, I think uh, the way that he worded it was uh, just, I think he worded it terribly uh, as far as like when he started bringing up, like, I would feel ashamed as a man, as a father off of the income that he makes uh, or off of making 400 grand a year. As you said, anyone can live off of 400 grand a year. Uh, my wife and I live off of less than 10% of that. So, I mean, it's doable, people. Um, so, I mean, if you can't live off of 400 grand a year, then you're doing something wrong. But as you said, 
on his level, yeah, hit on his level, people in that realm can't live off of that. And it's understandable with everything that they have going on. Um, and, uh, but I think also that's just them deciding to inflate their lifestyle, although they can afford it. But using you as an example, your lifestyle has stayed the same other than eating more food. But, you know, it, everything else has stayed the same. You know, you don't have fancy cars. Um, I can attest to that. You don't have you don't have a private jet. You don't have, you know, all this bougie stuff, really. Um, right. And so but as you do say, the more money you make, the more expenses you have in business. And I can understand where you can't live off of 400 grand a year, the more your business grows. But as far Absolutely. as just living expenses, I don't see how anyone would be unable to do that. Um, you can. And, you can I, and I go, yeah, and I go and follow up what you said. I think you worded it correctly when you said the way he worded it was terrible. Him as a man at his level of lifestyle, again, he got helicopters, private jets. It take two million dollars just to run the fuel on those jets, as much as he traveled. So if he made four hundred grand, of course he got you know million uh, million dollar property that he just bought in California or wherever the hell it's at. Then yeah, you can't live on it. But to talk down the common man, um, talk down anybody that say they're making just you know. I'm saying just, but they're making 400000 a year. If you look it up, it's in the top 1% of income earners in the United States. That's what the 1% is. It's not a million dollars a year. It's not $5 million a year. It is $401,000. The actual number is $401,622. That's what puts you in the 1%. That's it. And I'm saying, I'm not saying that's it, like, oh, it's easy to achieve. It's hard work to get there. And if you, you know, you want to get up there to that 1%, you know, just stack it on piece by piece, piece by piece. Uh, i never forget, uh, I was 11, 12 years old, and I was playing Little League football. And Coach Travis, uh, if you ever see the video, he'll, <laughs> he'll know who I'm talking about. But we was, you know, we was a good team, and, you know, we're trying to win the championship. And that was the first time I ever heard it. I was, yeah, I was 10. I was 10 years old, actually. And and he said, the goal is the championship. And then he said, but how do you eat an elephant? Piece by piece. That's it. You can get up there to that upper echelon of income piece by piece, no matter if you work a nine to five, if you have your own business or anything like that. It's not about what you're making at, at the hourly rate. It's what you're doing with that money and how you're spending your time when you're not on that nine to five grind. That's all it takes to do it. I mean, when I started off, like, I, I mean, of course, you know the stories, but we shared the stories on here. It was first getting out of debt and then getting out of debt. You know, I'm, I'm volunteering to deploy to go to a combat zone just to get out of debt and then just slowly stack things up, get a job, start saving the income, living on way less income. You know, like, like we talked about, living on 20% of the income. And doing whatever it took to stay on 20% of the income. And then you just kept building, kept building, kept investing, kept investing, kept investing. And then one investment leads to two investments, move up and get better jobs and keep living on the 20%. If you're looking at your situation now, talking to people in the audience, if you're looking at your situation now and saying, oh, I can't live on 20%. So you need to work to grow that 20%. Again, uh, cut expenses, of course. That's the number one thing because everybody swear they got expenses they can't cut, which is a lie. But, but cut your expenses and then start investing that money. And I'm not saying where to invest the money at. I mean, you can stock markets, you can do business, you can do real estate, you can do whatever you want. But start investing that money and then keep growing your income because 20% of $20,000 a year is what, $5,000? 20% right? of 20000 4000 Oh, 4,000. See, look, mm -hmm. I'm mad the wrong myself. So 4,000. So, but again, now if you get to 20% of 100,000, then that's 20,000. Then if you get 20% of 200,000, that's 40,000. And then it can grow on and grow on. It. And then, like I said, we was very hardcore at, you know, the 20% rate, but other people, you know, 40, 50%, live on 40 or 50% of your income and just keep growing the income. And then it will allow you with that excess money to put it in places that will 
keep driving your income, making your inf- income grow, making your portfolio grow. So I 100% categorically deny everything that Grant Cardone said in that video. It's a lie. It's not true. And if yeah. anybody believes that if they're not making four hundred thousand dollars a year, that they're not a man or they're not worthy to walk walk on this earth or whatever he said, I one hundred percent disagree because you don't need that much money to live and survive in the United States, let alone all the other countries out there. Yeah, I can see from the perspective too of maybe you know, if you do reach that income, you shouldn't um, settle for it. I mean, if, if anyone has reached that level of income, they've made the sacrifices and worked hard enough to get to that. So if you've got it to that point, then you shouldn't stop there. I mean, don't get comfortable, you know, keep striving from there. Um, but to say that, and that's why I just say he just worded it terribly, like, to say you can't live off of it and you should be ashamed as a father and a man, like those are just the wrong things to say about it. Um, but I do and, think and that, one, mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead. No, at one point about the video, we don't know the audience that he had in there. Right. We didn't know. I mean, of course, he had a speaking engagement. Somebody's paying him to be there. Don't know what the cost of the tickets is to be there. And he probably talked to a group of, you know, high network earners already. So that's the only pass I'm giving them. The message should have been for the audience that was in the room. But when you take that content and then you blast it across the internet and then you got, you know, suicide rates and everything else going up because everybody already think they're not a man because of all these other movements that's going on. And to say that, that's why we created the video because I just had to say, you can do a lot more with a lot less and still live a great life. In the United States, in the world as a whole, also. Exactly. Well, guys, with all that being said, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.